Hello, I'm Jess Ponce. I am a media coach, an author, and also a personal branding expert. And what I do is I help people communicate when they need to perform at their best. And that could be doing an interview, it could be at a business pitch, it could be doing a video online. And one of the things that clients face is this idea that they get in their head. Now, how do you get in your head? It's when you begin to freak out, when you begin to psych yourself out, that you actually forget everything, you might begin to shake, or you feel like you just can't deliver that message. And there are a couple of reasons why we get in our head. The very first one is what we call the perfection trap. Now, this idea that you have to be perfect is something that many of us have learned through the years, whether that was at school or with our parents. We want to be our best. Now, what does it mean to be your best? For many people, that means being like somebody else who's really poised and quote unquote perfect. When we look at some celebrities, there are a couple who've made careers about being imperfect. Look at Rebel Wilson, or as we often have heard in Pitch Perfect as Fat Amy. In the actual movie, she made fun of herself. But in real life, Rebel Wilson acknowledges that she's heavy and imperfect, and in many ways celebrates that. She celebrates that her body is the way that it is. And when the time was right, she decided to lose it and looks amazing. But throughout has always been amazing because she appreciates who she is and what she has to offer. It's not about achieving some mark of perfection. Kevin Hart is another one. He is always making fun of the fact that he's short. And for many people, being short is not being perfect. He really laughs at himself and has actually capitalized on the idea that he's not perfect. So for yourself, think about what is that measure of perfection for you? It might be this idea that you have to nail it without stumbling. Well, let me tell you, that happens to me all the time. Or it might be a measure that you absolutely have to look your best or that nothing goes wrong. I'm here to tell you life presents challenges. Doing video presents challenges. It's okay when you are speaking, when you are presenting, when you are pitching something that things can go wrong because the idea is for you to be perfect or great in that scenario because you can't control the environment. And let me clarify that. When I say perfect for that scenario, what I mean is present, is connected, and able to get through it because you realize, again, that things are really out of your control. Now, number two is this fear that we're going to make mistakes or that people might think that we're goofy or maybe, you know, not what they want us to be. And somebody who always makes mistakes and is actually kind of very fun about it is Jennifer Lawrence. Now, her entire persona is actually around this idea that she's going to make mistakes, that she may not say something perfectly, that she may not respond to a situation in the best way possible or even may have not articulated something in the way that she meant for it to articulate. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what I meant to say, or she may not have articulated it in the way that she thought she should. Here's what happens. We're going to make mistakes. This is really an addendum to the perfection trap. Because when we're real, when we're in the moment, when we're communicating like we are right now and I just made a mistake, it makes us human. It makes us relatable. We are not robots who are just delivering a message. And that's what I want for you, to realize that mistakes can make you charming, they present opportunities for you to laugh, and it lets the audience know that, hey, I'm a real human being. The third thing 
that many of, suffer, many of us suffer from when it comes to the idea of getting in our head is what we call the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is this belief that you're not good enough or that really you're sort of faking your way through something. You have this measure of how you are supposed to be or how you are supposed to articulate or that that person over there, they're the real deal, but I may not be. And you would be surprised. The famous people, powerful people, people that make us feel something that suffer from imposter syndrome. Lady Gaga being one of the people that I admire most who is able to say that she suffers from imposter syndrome. She talks about how as a high school student, she felt like she wasn't good enough, that she felt like she was a geek, and that when she began to perform, that at some point somebody was going to discover that maybe she wasn't as talented or she wasn't as outrageous or wasn't as real as she thought she should be. The truth is, many of us, because of the world we live in, because of the measures that we have in front of us, of people who are doing videos, of people who are on Instagram or promoting themselves or are doing some great product, that we're not like them, that somehow we need to be like them. The truth is, and this is like making mistakes, that the who, the you, who you are, is actually good enough. It's more than good enough. It's perfect because you are real, because you are in the moment. So remember that when you get in your head, think about why am I trying to be perfect? Am I okay that I'm gonna make mistakes? And do I realize that I am good enough? Because when you get in your head, you allow fear to take control. And here's the secret. Fear and excitement show up in the body in the exact same way. You might get a little tense. You might begin to, you know, have a rapid voice or, or move your hands forward. The idea is to translate that fear into excitement because you don't have to be perfect. You're going to make mistakes and you are good enough. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jess Ponce. If you like this video, please press like. And also follow me on YouTube because I will have more videos like this coming up. And if you like to read blogs or, you know, listen to podcasts, please go to my website, JP3 Global Media, because I have some great information there for you as well. I'll see you next time.